What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and it's that time of year again. You guys are probably heading back to school. So today I've got my tech recommendations for you based on what I believe a student will like. So personally, I dropped out last year so I'm not actually going back to school but here are some products that based on my experiences, I think students will really enjoy and I think are great selections for the year of 2019. So for the most part, I will say in some categories, I did keep budget in mind, but in others, I kind of went with what I believe is the best option in the category when it comes to value and performance. But I do have a budget bag episode coming up as well. So I hope you guys are excited for that, as well as the other back to school videos, such as a desk setup and also a dorm living room tour. If you guys want to win this backpack filled with some mystery tech featured in this video, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow me over on Instagram at justin.tse, leave a like on this video, and also drop a comment down below about your favorite item featured, and I'll be picking a winner in the comment section in two weeks. So for starters, the backpack that I can recommend to pretty much everyone out there at any price point is from Herschel. This right here is a bag that is very durable. I've had so many of these over the years and even ones that I used for five or six years and we're still staying strong. But that's because they're durable, but most importantly, they look amazing. They have the MLB, the NBA, as well as just so many cool things that they're working on in many different product lines, including clothing now. But this bag right here is just a very simple one that is great for students. And the red, I think, looks amazing with the Raptors championship. Um, you have a little pocket on the front to store some little accessories and stuff like that. Very quick and easy to access, but on the top you also have just the main compartment with also some other pockets as well. You've got the NBA liner with the collab and also a pocket for your laptop, pencils and stuff like that. And they come in many different shapes and sizes. So if you guys are looking for a backpack that can last you many, many years, whether it's four or five or six years, assuming you don't lose it or anything, then the Herschel bag is the one that I can easily recommend. So if you're looking for a great mouse to use both on the go but also back home, then the best option is the Logitech MX Master 2S hands down. It is definitely not the cheapest mouse out there, but it is essentially a little brother to their flagship MX Master 2S, which has all the great features, amazing battery life. It comes in three different colors, including black, blue, as well as the white here. And I actually think it looks really, really good. It's got nice ergonomics to it, very comfortable, but also has a fast scroll wheel, up to a 70 day battery life, and you can get a full day with just three minutes of charge. But it's it's also great that you can connect it to up to three different devices and control all of them just by switching with the button on the back. Logitech has really mastered the mouse market and this can track on pretty much any surface including glass and has a 4000 DPI. So one of my favorite products overall that I've been recommending for many, many years now in different models is the Anchor Power Core lineup. And this right here is a 13,000 milliamp hour model that matches this red backpack perfectly. Previously, I've been a really big fan of the 10,000 milliamp hour model, and I still really like that, and it's a little bit more portable, but this one was literally like $1.50 more than the 10,000, so I thought for 3,000 milliamp hours more, it made sense to go with. It also has two USB ports for charging versus one and can charge up to three amps, but it recharges via micro USB, as well as a battery indicator on the side here, which has four different lights. At the end of the day, you should be able to get at least three full charges on your iPhone, so you don't have to recharge this every single day, but they've been very, very reliable and Anchor has been a trusted brand for backup batteries. So when it comes to a portable Bluetooth speaker, this was my recommendation last year, and although I did try to find something even better over the past year, I think for the money, this is still the best option that you can buy for something that is still very slim, portable, durable, but most importantly, sounds very good. This is the Bose SoundLink Micro, and this right now is on sale for under $100 in the US. Even though Apple AirPods are great, as someone who flies a lot, or for those who are taking commute to school and public transit, which may be very loud and you just wanna be in your zone, it's nice to have a pair of active noise cancellation headphones. And I've seen other people recommending the Bose QC35s and back to school guides, but let's be real here, a student doesn't really wanna spend the price of a Bose wireless headphone because it is like four or 500 bucks after tax. This right here is the Tautronic Sound Surge 60 and I have a coupon code down below to save you $15 and this gets the price under 60. It's honestly pretty impressive because it actually looks pretty good, very clean design, feels very solid, but it is also comfortable with the leather headband on the top as well as the leather cups. It's got a 40 millimeter driver, up to 30 hours of battery life, and you also have the option to use it wired as well, and all the buttons and controls are found on the bottom. But the sound quality for its price was something that actually did impress me. Obviously the more expensive options are going to get you even better sound quality, but considering this is active noise cancelling as well, I think it is an absolute steal for you to go ahead and purchase one. I also really like that it's able to fold up very nicely and it also comes with a hard shell carry case to throw in your bag in order to ensure that they don't get damaged during commute. 
There's obviously a lot of options out there that are comparable in pricing, but I wasn't a big fan of the form factor or the sound quality, but this right here has a built-in clip that is very easy to hook onto anything. It is IPX7 rated for water resistance. And you have the buttons for the control when it comes to music as well as volume directly on the front and on the top you have your Bluetooth connect as well as the power. It does also have a battery indicator as well and can be controlled through the Bose Link app. But when it comes to sound quality, I think this is definitely one of the better ones out there and I feel like it does outperform its price. So when it comes to a good all-round laptop, I know I have a very male-dominated audience and a lot of you guys are really into gaming and have wanted me to do more videos of gaming and also Windows computers. I feel like the best option that kind of covers that category as well as one you can take around for classes is the Razer Blade 15. Razer's just been doing an incredible job in terms of hardware, the machinery, and just look at it. It is made out of aluminum, just very well built, and everything about it is just very solid and premium feeling. On the spec side of things, this computer has an i7 6-core 9th generation processor paired with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 graphics processor. It's also got 16 gigs of RAM paired with a 512 gig SSD, and it is a dual drive setup which has both NVMe as well as SATA. You have two USB 3 ports on one side, as well as a full-size HDMI, another USB port, as well as Thunderbolt, which is nice to see on everything now. So if you got a monitor at home, you can very easily just go ahead and plug it in when you get back at the end of the day and start gaming. When you open this thing up, you have a 15.6 inch full HD display, which has a refresh rate of 144Hz. I think what's great about this though is that it really blanks a lot of industries beyond just general schoolwork and administrative stuff, whether it's emails, word processing, but if you're someone who is in coding or in arts and wants to do some graphic design as well as video editing, then you're really going to need that dedicated graphics as well as a great processor. In addition to that though, if you're into gaming, this computer is totally capable of that and for the most part you should be able to play the games in higher than medium settings, sometimes even getting into high. I think the overall experience is here, and of course you do have a great keyboard characteristic of Razer as well as the RGB lighting underneath it. And all this comes in a well-machined package at a price point under $2,000. If you're willing to spend the money, then you've got yourself here a really good computer that can last you for many years to come, giving you great performance both for work as well as gaming. If you're willing to increase your budget even more though for ultimate performance, they also make a 15 inch advanced model with even higher graphics specs as well as the option for a 240Hz display or 4K OLED touchscreen. For those who are looking for even better portability though, you have the Razer Blade Stealth 13 which I also have and really enjoy, and this has great battery life as well as specs up to an Intel i7 and MX150. It still has the same great build quality with aluminum body that the entire Razer lineup has. And down below there's going to be a link to the Razer lineup where there's a ton of specs, sizes and options to suit your needs. I'd like to give a huge thanks to Razer for sponsoring this video. If you're someone who takes a long commute to school or just wants something to play while you're in your dorm, then a great option is the Nintendo Switch. It is portable, it is light, and fits in your backpack very nicely. It's nice and slim, but at the same time you can play all your games whether it's with your friends or just by yourself. But the model that I recommend is not actually this one, and it is actually the Nintendo Switch Lite, which comes out in September. That one not only comes in at a substantially cheaper price, but at the same time, you also have a better battery life, but it is just like a very portable focused version of the Nintendo Switch, which still allows you to play all of your favorite games. So I think one of the most popular back to school gadgets is the Apple AirPods, and these have been very popular for a while now, and this is the second generation right here, but whether you go with the first generation or the second generation, I really think you can't go wrong with a pair of AirPods. They're definitely not the cheapest out there, but they are probably the best fully wireless pair of earbuds that I've tried out to date, even after all the competing ones that have come out over the past few years. At just 4 grams on each side, they're the lightest. They've also got a pretty good battery life of up to 5 hours, and also 3 hours of listening with 15 minutes of charge. But most importantly, they just sound pretty decent considering they're fully wireless and work pretty much every single time very seamlessly, especially if you have an iPhone. When it comes to storage, the Western Digital My Password line has always been one of my favorites, and that is because it is reliable, relatively good looking, but also pretty slim. And this My Password comes in one terabyte, two terabyte, I believe all the way up to five terabytes, and in a whole range of colors. For any Word documents and project files, this should be enough to store a ton of stuff over the years, but if you want something a little bit faster, then the My Password SSD is probably the best option in my opinion. With this being a solid state drive, of course it is more expensive and you're getting less storage for what you pay for, but it is significantly faster with read speeds over 500. If you're doing a lot of large files, video editing, and transferring photos for example, then this might be a good option to go for, and the models that have lower storage sizes start in at under $100, which is still relatively affordable, but you're getting much less space compared to a standard hard drive. 
So for any students out there who may be looking for a new phone, I have a couple recommendations for you, and these are ones that are definitely not the cheapest on the market, but I will keep in mind that a student probably wants to use their phone for at least three to four years and also have a good camera to capture memories, but a phone is pretty much a central hub to everything, so I feel like if you were to invest in something, this would make sense. On the Android side of things, I have two different recommendations. It's the OnePlus 7 Pro or the Google Pixel 3a. The OnePlus 7 Pro has been one of my favorite phones, and I think for its price, you have all the great specs that will be future-proof for many years to come. You can game on it, you've also got the great display with 90 hertz, a really good camera, and also a pop-out front-facing camera, but just overall a very solid flagship at a great price. The Google Pixel 3a, on the other hand, has the same camera that the Google Pixel 3 has, which is one of the best on the market, with Google software, clean experience, very fast and snappy, but the processor is of the mid-end but it's a very light phone that I actually find myself using a lot and it is reliable because of Google's software. On the iPhone side of things, the phone that I've actually been recommending the most is the iPhone XR to about 95% of people. I feel like the XR is like the perfect medium and Apple did a very good job in kind of positioning this in their lineup between the XS and the XS Max because it has all the great specs of Apple's official flagship as well as the same main camera, a great portrait mode, and also obviously the iOS experience. I also feel like the display size is perfect being in between the size of the 10s and 10s Max. And if I didn't need the secondary camera, I would probably be using one of these myself because the display, despite it not being OLED, it is honestly pretty much as good unless you really went and compared them side by side. The battery life of the iPhone XR is also one of the best of any iPhone that has been made to date and even better from my experience from the 10s and 10s Max. If you guys are looking to pick up a new device for your school year though, whether it's a new Razer Blade, uh, Apple MacBook, iPad, or a phone, then a great product to get to protect your device from scratches is a dbrand skin, and it comes in many different colors and textures, and I'm gonna drop a link down below. So on the Apple side of things, my recommendation for an Apple computer is the MacBook Air 13 inch, which was redesigned recently, which is really nice to see, because now it's got all the latest and greatest from Apple. You've got a 13.3 inch retina display with smaller bezels. You've also got an eighth generation processor, fast storage, as well as up to 16 gigs of RAM. So I feel like for most things that students are gonna be doing, the MacBook Air is able to solve all of your needs. It's also got a full day battery life, but it's overall very thin and light. And if you need something more powerful, then of course you do have the MacBook Pro, but I feel like with the specs of this generation MacBook Air, it is a very compelling choice, especially with the student discounts, with the free beats and the price savings. If you're looking for an iPad though, I think the best medium for students is the iPad Air 2019. The iPad Pro is one that I use a lot and I really enjoy, but I do feel like the power is far more than what most people are going to be needing it for. The iPad Air starts in at a price point under $500 in the US, but it has an Apple A12 processor and a 10.5 inch Retina True Tone display, but most importantly, Apple Pencil support, which a lot of students are probably going to like. It weighs just about one pound and comes in at 6.1 millimeters thick, so it's just something very portable if you don't feel like you need to take a computer every single day. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video of what's in my school bag for 2019, even though I dropped out last year, but these are genuinely products that if I were a student, these are the options that I believe are the best offerings on the market if you're looking for something that will last for many years to come. Of course, I do know some of the things in this video are a little bit more expensive than you'd like, but I do have a budget episode coming up similar to what I did last year.